Page 51, A Friend Like You. This time we get a little more exercise in G position and the hands doing different things at different times. You have a three beat pickup measure, right? So we're going to start on beat two when we play it because there's only three counts in the first measure. But take a look at the second measure where the right hand has a, a whole note. And that whole note is tied to a quarter note, so you're actually going to hold this down for five counts. It's similar to when the Saints go marching in thing, right? And now the left hand is going to do all these different things. Well, they're different intervals. At, at different times. So really the left hand gets the work here. It's kind of nice. The melodies in the right hand, though, now, the tendency, and I'll repeat this some more, is when playing the piano, we tend to play the hand that's got more stuff going on louder. It's just natural. We're focusing on it. So, in this one, it would be... Because that's the way we think. We're focused on it, so it's louder. And the thing we have to remember is, no, it's got, it's got its place. In the overall scheme of the whole composition, the whole piece, it has its place. So if it's background, and the left hand is background, keep it softer. So it's here. Okay, I mean, it's got that little counter melody thing going on there. But it's still background. The right hand is what counts. That right hand should be louder throughout. Now if you remember a previous video I suggested you connect the moving notes. If you can do that, try that. It makes it a little more difficult, but it's kind of neat. If you can play this that fast like that, you don't need these videos. You can already play the piano. So I'm suggesting it because I expect you to struggle. You're going to have to do the left hand. You're going to do the first one and think about it. You're going to lift up and then you're going to do the next one. Lift up, do the next one, and then the next one, and finally the last one. And you're going to keep doing this for a while, but eventually, over time, it will get better. You'll develop that feel of connecting these fingers, but not these fingers or something. It, it comes. Believe me, it comes. Just be patient with yourself. So you may have to go real, real, real slow. Real slow. How fast you have to go that's not important what is important is that you're getting the technique uh, of, of you know you're developing this this is great now when we play it together I'm gonna go a little faster than that so you might have to separate them that's fine for now but on your own see what you can do with that maybe the second or third time you've been through the book you'll be in a little better position to do that notice the, the slurs the phrase markings that's like every two measures or something like that. This gives us a good example of silence between the phrases. All right, separating the phrases. Uh, at the first, here, the, the beginning, in the right hand, it's here. This, this is one phrase. Okay, now a new phrase is next. So I'm not gonna connect the G and the D. The next note. I want to lift up on the G just a little bit early. It's come, lift the hand up and then come back down for the first note in the next phrase. So it's here. So as I do these phrases, I want a silence between each phrase. It will be something like this. One, two, three, four, one. If I connect them, it's... See, there's no silence between them. 
that's not it. That's not what you want. You want to lift up so you get a little bit of silence. And we're talking about the phrases, the notes that are marked on the phrases. We're not talking about anything else. So the left hand is not affected by this, okay? Now you can, at the end of the phrase, go ahead and lift both hands up at the same time. But you're going to find later on, and I'll cover it, where the left hand is doing something else. So you might break a phrase in the right hand, but not the left. So they can be different, all right? So just be aware of that. There is a note at the end, underneath, where they're suggesting, and it's only a suggestion, that when you repeat it, you do the left hand an octave lower. So rather than playing here, take it down here. So instead of this G and D, do this G and D on the repeat. They do that for variety. So you, something changes on the, you know, it's not the same old, same old stuff. So let's try that and see what happens. You have to be able to move your left hand down here while you're playing those notes in the right hand there in the pickup measure. So you're here, and then when you play the notes in the pickup measure on the repeat, that's where you, you gotta, you may have to practice moving the hand and playing the notes at the same time. So you get down there, because you gotta be there before the full measure where they need to play. So I'll give us five counts, let's try this out. Starting out here in G position. One, two, three, four, go.